Well, holiday events are getting underway in Grove, and we're happy to welcome back the Grove Area Chamber of Commerce Tourism Director Brent Malone to chat about some of the things you all have going on Grand Lake. Yes, yes, we've got a lot going on. It's been a very busy holiday season. Yes, I'm so excited that you were able to come up here to tell us all about what's going on. Nice. So let's start with the winter concert series. What is it? Break it down. Why should people want to come out? It's, it's a great time. We've, we started this last year. We had some Branson bands come down, and we th decided to kind of step it up a notch. And, and we're going to bring in uh, America's top country from Branson. They sing everything from George Jones all the way up to, to today's country. So and perfect for families. Oh, it's absolutely great. Um, I mean, it's, it's going to be a good time. And then the following weekend, we're going to have three weekends in a row. The following weekend's Confederate Railroad. Uh, they've got multiple number one hits in the 90s, and it's kind of a 90s type situation. That's what we're kind of doing. That's, that's my age, <laughs> you know. So that's what I like to listen to. And then the following weekend's Ricochet. So they'll be they'll be coming and, and rock and grow. And what makes these um, concert series so special and unique? Would you say? I, the time of the year, Grove's known for Grand Lake. I mean, they're known for the lake. The water, and, yes, beautiful water, absolutely. nothing I mean, like that's it. That's what everybody comes down for. We've really started something in Grove, and we've kind of caught a vision. And uh, with the Santa's Ozark Mountain Village, Village started just a couple weeks ago, and that's like sixty thousand likes at Harbor Village. It's awesome to go tour, similar to Silver Dollar City, and then. We went into two years ago, we started the concert series, and now we've brought in an ice skating rink. Lovely, and tell me a little bit more about the ice skating rink, what people can enjoy when they come. So the Grand Lake, and then they can, where is the ice skating rink specifically? It's, it's right downtown. I mean, it's right on our city square. So you walk, come into Grove, you cannot miss it. It's sitting right there. All of our shops downtown, we've kind of brought downtown back. We've revitalized it. And uh, so all the shops are staying open, coffee shops. It's, it's a great time just, just to enjoy the, holiday season. Perfect. Anything else to talk about as far as Christmas events in the Grove community you want to get out there? Th those are the three things that we've really got going on right now. We've been really busy. You know, Grove used to shut down uh, Labor Day weekend and we've kind of brought that back. So we brought it from November all the way to the end of January and we've got something going on every weekend. In so Grove. Grove is not just known for summer events. Correct. Correct. Okay, Brent Malone, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Autumn. Well, coming up in our next half hour, Aaron's going to have the latest timeline on when rain is expected to pop up here in green country.